All right, this week on Study Ball, we're continuing our team by team, division by division breakdown. We started with the NFC West. Last week, we started with the Seattle Seahawks, taking a look at their offense and defense. Now we're going to move to the second place team, one of my former teams, the Los Angeles Rams. And we're going to take a look today at their offense. Nobody does a better job with the naked bootleg and the play action game than Sean McVay and the Los Angeles Rams. So that's where everything with their offense is going to start. And that's what defenses are going to have to counter if they're going to have success against this offense. All right, so everything is going to come off the play action or the naked game with the Los Angeles Rams. So we're going to have some sort of play fake. And then as with most naked bootlegs across the board, uh, really at any level, you're going to have somebody going to the flat, somebody working to that deep back area of the field, a crosser here. And that's really how the naked bootlegs are set up. And so we're going to see a number of different looks here by the Rams in which they doctor this up. They give you a different looks, formations, and, and they run these different ways. And it's what makes them so hard to stop. And you'll see on this one, what they're going to do, they're in a tight bunch, heavy run formation, it looks like. They're going to use this outside guy to seal the defensive end here, which what that does is it allows your quarterback to get outside and really see what's happening. This other tight end is going to take a little jab step inside, and then he's going to go to the flat. So if they are in some sort of man-to-man -man coverage, this guy right here would be covering man. He hesitates. Now there's a great chance for him to get caught up with all of this stuff that happens on the, in, on the outside of him uh, as those guys are covering man. So you'll see right here, okay? This guy comes down. This guy decides he wants to hit it. We're going to come up this way, and we're going to sneak this guy out into the flat off of the play action right here. And you'll see, tough, right? Man to man, this guy steps up with that little step there, seeing the block down by the defensive end. Now he gets outside of him. Good throw here by Jared Goff to get the ball up and over. And the thing that you're gonna notice about these naked bootlegs is they run them anywhere. Their offense is their offense all the way down into the tight red zone. Easy completion up over the top for a touchdown right there. All right, we'll come back. We got a different formation here. So in this particular look, we've got you know, two receivers. We've got two tight ends to this side, kind of a two by two formation. Uh, and you're gonna see naked bootlegs gonna come out. Again, we're going to block down right here like we saw in the last play. We're gonna bluff this here. We're gonna come out on the corner. Now we're gonna sneak Cooper Cup back into the flat on the other side. And we've still got our over right here. So we see all those same things. Now it's just a different formation, a different presentation. And now we're sneaking out the other side. These guys are looking, they come down because these guys are showing block and stepping down. Then this guy sneaks out and he gets out to the flat on the other side, outflanks the defense, another easy completion. They're going to get you thinking one direction, all the movement, come back with these naked bootlegs to the other side. And you got to be aware that they will use anybody and everybody to do this. And they do a nice job of changing it up and keeping defenses off balance. All right, now let's come back with another look. All right, now we're in a tight formation on the outside. And now we've got two wings. So with those two wings, we could do this either way. We saw the last time Cooper Cup came this way out into the flat. Now we could use a tight end to go this way into the flat. They love to use their wide receivers. A lot of teams won't block their right wide receivers. They'll block their tight end. So you know it's pretty much going to go one direction. Not in, in LA. They will ask their wide receivers to block the edges. And you're going to see that right here. We're going to see the same basic play here on the corner. We're going to see a block down here by Cooper Cup. You're going to see this out here. You're going to see the over. And then what they do nice is They've got all these different nakeds, and then there's this added part that, that, that offenses have, have done with these naked bootlegs as of recently. So they're going to use Cooper Cup to block down, block down, seal that edge, and then he's going to do what we call a trail route. So after he seals that and he makes sure that the quarterback is outside, he's going to trail this play and find a hole here on the inside. So if teams understand the naked, Everybody starts moving quickly. 
right? Everybody starts moving quickly. They bring this linebacker to scrape off because they know the naked bootleg is a part of it. Now, maybe you got a shot there, but that happens really fast because that linebacker is coming. You'll see Cooper Cup. He just looks around, figures out where the hole is, and we're going to drop this back inside. Everybody's moving. Everybody's rolling because we got you going different directions. Now we're going to drop it back to the inside. And look at this. We get a huge play on this little trail route that we throw at the line of scrimmage because we've got the defense off balance showing run, run, run. Oh, then naked, naked, naked. And now we've got the little trail route underneath. They really do a great job with all their formations and movements of making things look the same and then attacking you a lot of different ways. All right, let's keep on going here. Now we're going to add a jet sweep to this. So we got our two tight ends here. So again, we can run any kind of naked that we want to either side because we've got the tight end. We've got our tight alignments right here. So we can bring one of these guys back if we want, like we just saw, bring them back underneath. So now what they're going to add is the jet sweep. They love to run the jet sweep. So they're going to run the jet sweep and then they're going to run the fake and then they're going to bring a guy back underneath. So they're giving you all kinds of different movements here as they come off of this. And once again, you're going to see basic play corner cross flat. You're going to have all those things, but now we got a jet sweep. Now we got a run fake going with that. We got you thinking all kinds of different directions and different possibilities. Well, coming out with the naked again. Now we got another easy throw to the flat as you see these linebackers, right? Everybody's moving fast. They do a great job coming off of this and giving their quarterback easy completions. I did a breakdown earlier on Matthew Stafford and what he brings to the table, but there's no question that he can do these things. And really any quarterback, when it gets this wide open, can do these sorts of things and create big plays on easy, simple concepts. But it's all based on the different nuances that Sean McVay adds into the offense. All right, now we're going to motion across. Now we're going to get into a bunch formation here. Okay. Got a little check right here, it looks like, by Jared Goff. Now here comes the jet sweep. Okay. So now they're given that same appearance. Like we're going jet sweep here, and we're going to make a fake here. And as we saw before, that meant we're going to come out with a naked over to this side in the cross. Now they're going to change that up. We just showed you the one look where everything was going that way and I booted out the other direction. Now we're going to do that. Watch the linebackers. Linebacker step. Oh yeah, we just saw this. Boom. Get going. Get going. Get going. Now they're going to throw the screen back. Start just from the beginning. They're going to throw the screen back to their jet sweep guy who comes over here and gets lost because he doesn't get the football right now. They're gonna throw the jet sweep back off of that naked fake and everything looked the same, getting guys running in different directions and you see it again, big play after big play off these naked bootleg concepts. All right, back in the bunch formation. Here comes the jet sweep. Now what are we gonna do? Okay, so now we're making it look like Jet sweep here, here, wrapping this guy back, all kinds of movement going different directions. Now we're going to add the play action game off of this. So not the play action naked, but the hard play action. We're going to get you going, well, somebody going this way, other people going that way, people watching the wrap, all kinds of things happening. And we're going to hit this skinny post or in route back behind it. Boom, hit that back foot. Huge window there because we've got you thinking so many different directions from run to nakeds, to jet sweeps, all these different things. Now we get an easy completion in the middle of the field. And this is the progression, right? It starts with the run game, all these formations, then it comes to the nakeds, and then we build in our play action passes off of that. A little different formation here with the stack and a wing once again. Okay, here we go. We're going to bring the jet sweep. We're going to make the play action fake. So now we're going to overload and use the play action fake as a flat. We're going to run a pylon corner and we're going to release this tight end. And now he's going to run a corner to that side. So we're going to overload that side 
using the jet sweep because a lot of the stuff we've done with the jet sweep, it goes one direction and then we play off of that to throw another direction. Now we're going to use that jet sweep as part of our pass concept and you'll see it. We're going to get three layers over here. Read that outside guy. Got a shot right there. Could dump it off to his back if he wanted to, but we get everybody pulling up as they have to respect the different pieces of this. Jared makes a nice throw, that second level corner. And you see it, chunk play after chunk play after chunk play, all built off of the play action game, which is what Sean McVay and the Rams do as well as anybody in the league. All right, now I'm gonna finish with these three plays. This was three successive plays against the Washington football team last year. Three successive pass plays. So they ran three pass plays, and they didn't run them necessarily in a row, but they went pass, 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 after a couple run fakes in here or run get plays in here, but all three of the passes are gonna be set up the same way. Once again, what Sean McVay does as well as anybody, I'm gonna make everything look the same, and we've got some different complementary plays off of it. So we motion into the bunch. Now we're gonna bring the jet motion back once again, bring the jet motion, have our play fake. We just saw this play. Okay, now we're going to read off of this and we're going to try to hit that skinny or in route right there. We don't have it. He's going to recover and throw his check down to his jet sweep guy here. Doesn't have it. Get it out there. Let's go pick up a nice five, six yard gain. All right, so then we go to the next pass play they show in this game. You see it again, bunch. Everything looks the same. We're going to bring the jet sweep once again. Now we're going to bring the play action. We're going to block it up. And now we threw this check down to this guy last time. Now we're going to put him out here and then we're going to turn him into a go route. With that, we're going to bring this guy inside and he's going to run a corner route. We'll have our back over here for the flat. So we're going to overload this side again, but we're going to use this jet sweep guy in a different way. Give you the same presentation and do something different. So now, right, we see the play action. This guy's nosy in the backfield, playing like a cover two. We get the safety right here. Safety flattens his feet for this inside portion of it. We're going to go get the touchdown down here on the outside off the play action. Boom, go get ourselves a big play, same presentation, give ourselves a big play with a great complimentary piece off of it. There you see the touchdown. Then we're gonna come back with the third successive pass play. Same thing, same formation. We're gonna come with the same motion. Everything's the same. We're gonna come with that play action once again. Now we're gonna give the appearance that we're running that same thing that we just ran, but we're not going to. Now we're going to run in here and we're going to hook this up. We're going to push this guy down the sideline. He's going to run a comeback and then we'll have our back here checking down. So given a bunch of different appearances to the defense off of the play action, off of the movement, and you don't ever really know what they're doing. So here's really the throw that Jared Goff should have made right here. We got movement. These guys are all going in different directions. Now we're going to turn and run because we just got hit for a touchdown. Boom. There's the big play inside. He doesn't get it. They're chasing this one out here. So he ends up dropping it to his back right here. But you see the big play and the opportunities, but it's all built off of, we're going to make everything look the same. We're going to make our run game look like our play action game, look like our naked game. So you have no idea what we're going to do offensively. And it leads to easy, big plays over and over again. So there you see it. Really, really good stuff by the Rams and Sean McVay and why they've been one of the best offenses in the league since he took over in LA. But it all starts with the run game. Gotta run the football. A Couple years ago when they weren't able to run the football, the offense struggled a lot more. When they've been able to run the football, this stuff is where they make their money. It's all the play action, it's all the naked game. It's creating easy opportunities for their quarterback and making everything look the same for the defense. You might look at their pass offense and say to yourself, okay, they don't do a whole bunch of different things. And they don't because they major in what we just saw right there, but they do it really, really well. And they do it with a lot of different movements and formations. So everything comes off of the same base offense. That's what makes it really tough to stop. So they've got all that. 
Where they've struggled is when teams have forced them to get away from that, and now they've got to play drop back football. Scheme isn't necessarily designed to be great in that fashion. Jared Goff wasn't necessarily great in that fashion. So I'm excited to see what the Rams will be this year now that they've got a guy that can live in that drop back game and can make big plays in the drop back game in Matthew Stafford. As I said, broke that down earlier on this YouTube page. You can go back and check out what he brings to the table. But I'm excited to see where this offense can go because the scheme is really, really strong when they're able to play within the scheme. Now they've got a difference maker at the quarterback position when teams take that away. Going to be really fun to watch this team this year.